Continuing now on the Billy Bush Show, Richard Greco with me in studio, uh, Gone Country 3 on CMT this Friday. Uh, Richard, of course, hit the scene big, 21 Jump Street, 1988. Did they bring you in, by the way, to, to kind of offset the, the Johnny Depp sexiness? Spread uh, it around a little bit? Um, uh, I don't know. They brought me in um, originally just for one episode, and, and uh, they needed more of an uh, antagonist on the show. An edge. An edge. So they brought me in, and for one, that ended up being on the series for a couple years. Yeah, great. Now, uh, Gone Country 3, let's look at the cast here, because this is fun. This, first of all, not many people know, you, you, because of 21 Jump, and other, you've had a music career for a long time. You released an album in Europe, right? Yeah. I mean, how long, a 20-year career so far? Yeah, I've been doing music um, for about, I would say for about 20 years. I released an album in 90, I think 96 in Europe, uh, toured Europe, um, 97, a little in 98, uh, Kept it out of the stuff here in, in America, just in the sense of uh, I wanted it to just be uh, predicated just on Europe and stuff like that. So, is this the dream? I mean, is it to to do the music career here in the United States? Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I actually uh, um, considered doing the show Gone Country, just because uh, it's it's always been a passion of mine, you know, music, and I think. Uh, and I've always written um, all my life. I mean, as far as poetry and prose and fragments and 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 in songs. So it's uh, it's one of those. For me, it's kind of been a natural segue, so to speak. Why country music? Do you, you don't want to ultimately do country, or do you? Well, it, you know, it's funny you say because I I went back and listened to my first album, and lyrically, they were they really crossed over to country and the sensibility of, of, of God, country, family, America, the whole thing about that. And and then when I looked at it, and then when Gone Country came about, it just seemed like a natural segue for me. And I, and I had no aspirations in the beginning of going country as far right. as country music, but just being involved with the writers down there and realizing what lyrics are about. It's about feelings. It's about not hiding what's going on. It's not sugarcoating stuff it's not speaking in metaphors it's speaking in the literal um and uh and it's the backbone of our country you know country sure. music so Some of the best i mean I, I don't ever cry my eyes out unless it's a country song yeah i mean you know true um do you feel like uh, i mean having done it for 20 years do you do you feel like right now you have to prove yourself in the music business well, I think I've always had to prove myself, and even in, in in acting, I mean, it's always been a, a constant. Uh, I think if you stop trying to prove yourself, I think that's when things start happening the other direction. You know, you always got to better yourself on this and that. I mean, I I do have to prove myself. I do have to prove the fact that 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 I can go out there and I have the chops to do country and and uh, and then lyrically that my stuff is is stuff that people want to hear. You know? It's uh, it's funny. I mean, mm -hmm. look at the cast. George Clinton, yeah. Taylor Dane, Mickey Dolenz, whoa, uh, Sheila E., Justin Guarini, you, and Tara Connor from Miss USA. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I mean, everybody sings, but nobody sings country. Who's really good and who blows? You know, I got it. In, in a, you know, I'm not really the most politically correct person in the world, so... But to be honest with you, everyone came to this show. The one reason I took the show because everyone was really serious about the, the stuff the, and, and their music and stuff like that. Um, I tell you who's awesome is uh, we kind of forget about the monkeys and Mickey Dolans and stuff like that and and their music as far as being, uh, you know, a part of a fabric of our society musically. I mean, you know, last train to Clarksville, I'm a believer and all that stuff that mm. people still remember today and kind of forget that, that these guys were... I mean, these guys are up around where the Beatles were back then. I mean, it was he pretty could just wild. take that song. And I saw her face. Oh, I know. Do the whole country thing. And I'm a believer. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, and George Clinton's George. I mean, he's just he's the king of funk, man. I mean, he can find his keys in his hair. You know, that dude is. He can find wild. a lot of things in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tara Connor is. Uh, you're married or unmarried? No, I'm not married. She's hot, young. You taking note of notice of her? Um. You're a long-time sex symbol here in America, right? Really? Uh, You're dating her. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I no, just unearthed 
<laughs> no, something I'm, no, I'm not dating her. That was a long pause, bro. Him. Well, well, Tara Connor always made me think of Sarah Connor from The Terminator. So <laughs> it was the Tara Connor Chronicles. Yeah, so it was kind of weird. It's a good show. This is a good show. Let's do that. Yeah, we should. Right? Let's produce that thing.